What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today we're looking at another Kickstarter project that I backed a few months ago. Now you might have seen early videos where I told you that I'm a personal trainer and I also work out quite a lot in daily life myself. Uh, that means that you gotta take good care of your body in terms of maintenance. And usually I would turn to something like this, a foam roller, which is a nice and versatile tool to roll out some kinks, uh, pretty much anywhere from your butt to your shoulder and everywhere in between, and take good care of your back as well. However, there are other options out there, and a few months ago I backed a Kickstarter project called The Backrack, and I got it right here. Now, I know what you're thinking, and it's exactly the same that I was thinking, this is a skateboard wheels on a frame. Well, it does look a lot like that, but according to Backrack, there has been uh, quite a bit of research behind this, and this is a tool to sort of align your spine, work your lower back, and get rid, get rid of muscle soreness, uh, misalignment, and uh, sort of overall back uncomfortableness. So. Um, this will set you back about 90 bucks, which is certainly not cheap uh, for 8 skateboard wheels, uh, but we're going to take a close look and see if it is actually worth that kind of money and if it actually works, because obviously uh, when the product does work really wonders for your back, it might be worth the money, uh, and if it doesn't, it certainly won't. So let's have a close look, see what's what, and come up with some kind of verdict. So the back rack then, up close and personal, let's see what is what. First, we have to address the packaging. I said uh, before that this was a Kickstarter project, so I don't know if there is any kind of final packaging involved here, but all it came with was this mesh net. Uh, not really sure why this is, because it really makes no difference if you put it in this thing, or just like this in your bag, or your gym bag, or wherever you might want to store it, so that is kind of weird. It doesn't allow you to carry it or anything, uh, so I'm not really sure what this is for. Uh, other than that, it came with no packaging whatsoever. Not a box, uh, not anything. So, you know, that probably needs some work, uh, but like I said, I don't know if that is final or not, since this was a Kickstarter project. Then we have the unit itself. Um, you can see it's not very big, you know, it's uh, three hands wide. Eight wheels that aren't exactly skateboard wheels, but I would say uh, if you put two skateboard wheels next to each other, you end up with something like this. They are made of some kind of rubber. It is slightly compressible, but they are quite hard. Um, and they're quite heavy, so you know, nice and solid. Uh, that's a good feel from the get-go. They're attached to this plastic frame in the middle. You can hear that they wiggle a little bit, but there's absolutely no flex in this in any way, shape or form. Which is a good thing, because obviously you're supposed to lay on this, so the last thing you want is it flexing on you and doing something you don't want to do. Obviously the design is uh, meant for spine alignment. So your spine goes in the middle and this sort of rolls over the muscles on each side of your spine. Uh, so very functional but very simple and uh, you can see it rolls around like so, so you're supposed to roll around on it on the floor. Doing so um, is one option, rolling around on the floor. If that's a bit too much pressure for you, because obviously you'll be using your full body weight on your back then, uh, you can also put this against the wall and sort of lean against it and then roll your back that way. So that is another option that you have. Those two are really the only options though. Uh, there's not really much else you can do with it. Uh, the wheels roll fine on anything from the floor to uh, not too fluffy carpet. And obviously when you do it on your wall, you gotta you know, make sure it's not gonna leave any marks on your wall. Uh, but if you do it on a doorpost, for example, no problems there. Are there any downsides at this point? Not really, uh, you know, the build is solid like I said. The only thing is that the wheels will get dirty. You can already, I hope you can see it on camera, but it's already getting a little dirty just from, you know, occasional use. And since you'll be using this on the floor, whether that's at home or in a gym or anywhere else, uh, the wheels are gonna get dirty, which is something to, you know, take into account. Uh, you either have to clean them or make sure you're not using uh, a white t-shirt or anything, because, you know, once the wheels get dirty, they'll actually rub on you or on your wall as well. So that's something to take into consideration. All right, now for the demonstration of the back rack. Uh, ideally, you would do this without a shirt on because it can get rolled up in the wheel a little bit. Uh, but to keep it family friendly, I'll spare you those uh, details and keep my shirt on. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the floor, which is probably where you'll use it. You have to position it uh, slightly behind you and then you sort of have to uh, carefully move sort of in position on the rack. You don't really want to jump on it because the wheels are way too hard for that and that is going to hurt. Once you do wiggle on it though, this is what it'll look like. You'll just be rolling up and down a little bit using your feet as sort of the, your propeller. And that is it. You can go up and down a little bit more, you know, depending on your preference. And obviously the more up you go, the more pressure you also get sort of around your shoulder blade area. Overall, it's not unpleasant, uh, but I find it quite hard to really dig into the 
lower back region what it's supposed to do the best. Uh, and that is not where the bad news ends for the back rack. First of all, it is um, you know certainly something you have to get used to. Uh, I think if you use this for the first time, you definitely want to start against the wall because uh, the pressure on your back will just be too much and it'll hurt. Uh, but uh, that said, when you do get it right, it feels sort of nice, uh, but it doesn't really do that much for me. You know, it aligns your spine a little bit, I suppose. You can hear a few uh, knicks and knacks every once in a while when you use this. Uh, but it doesn't really do that much in terms of massaging or uh, proper alignment. Besides that, uh, the only thing it does is your back. Uh, there's really no other things you can do with this device. Like a foam roller uh, that I showed in the beginning, for example, you can pretty much roll whatever muscle you can uh, get into position for. This is your back and that's it. So it's not versatile in any way, shape or form. Uh, which is too bad because it you know, could be very useful if you, for example, could do your, your glutes maybe calves and so on, uh, but for this, with this thing it just doesn't work for other body parts uh, other than your back. Which brings me nicely to sort of the overall value proposition. Now like I said this was uh, 89 bucks on Kickstarter so that's not even a final retail price. Another 20 bucks shipping on top of that and that was before they forgot to pay import duties and so on here in Germany so there was another 20 bucks. Uh, so you know I'm looking at 130 bucks for this thing. That only does one thing, and it doesn't really do that one thing that well. Uh, so in terms of value, it's just not going to work. For 130 bucks, you can buy all the foam rollers, uh, massage balls, or anything else in the world, uh, or you can actually just get a proper massage uh, if you so desire. Uh, so in terms of value, it just doesn't deliver. In terms of what it does, it sort of kind of works, but not really. Uh, it's a good idea, um, I suppose, but sort of the execution, uh, the one dimension uh, in terms of what you can do with it. It's just, it just doesn't work for me. So it was nice as a Kickstarter project and I suppose uh, it was fun to try it out. Uh, but for me as I would call myself an athlete, it doesn't really add much to my recovery uh, sort of post-workout for that. I would uh, rather use a foam roller since it's more versatile, cheaper, easy to take with you, lighter uh, and sort of overall better tool in terms of taking care of your body. So I can't recommend it, that's the bottom line. Um, maybe they'll have a 2.0 product uh, in the near future that is better or more engineered or more versatile, uh, but for now I can't recommend this. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the back rack, back massage roller. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, that always helps us out a lot and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!